Before we kick off this bone-crunching countdown, let's acknowledge that whilst football is a sport celebrated for its skill, finesse and fair play, it has its fair share of moments that make you cringe. From mistimed tackles to downright reckless challenges, these fouls have left us gasping. So without further ado, let's relive the top 10 brutal fouls in football. Starting off our list at number 10 is a foul that would give even Bruce Lee a run for his money. Picture this, a player, frustrated and perhaps channeling their inner martial artist, unleashes a kung fu kick on an opponent. Our protagonist for this entry is Nigel de Jong's infamous kick during the 2010 World Cup final. De Jong's high, reckless challenge on Zabi Alonso earned him a yellow card, but many argued it should have been red. It's a kick that still reverberates in the annals of football history. If you want to protect yourself from any challenges like this, leaving a like and hitting subscribe is a great first step. Anyway, back to it. Claiming the ninth spot is a foul that takes the brutality to a whole new level, the head stomping tango. It's a moment when tempers flare and players decide that the pitch is a dance floor where the head becomes an unfortunate partner under their boot. Our shocking example for this entry is Harald Schumacher's infamous head stomping incident during the 1982 World Cup. In a collision with Patrick Batterston, Schumacher not only collided with the French player's face but also followed it up with a disturbing head stomp, a moment that transcends the boundaries of fair play and into the realm of shock and disbelief. Claiming the 8th spot is a foul that adds a new twist to the art of tackling, the sideways scissors. It's a moment when a player, in an attempt to dispossess their opponent, unleashes a scissor-like challenge that goes beyond the conventional norms of tackling. Our eye-catching example for this entry is Marco Materazzi's infamous sideways scissor during a heated match. Materazzi's challenge not only earned him a red card, but also fueled the rivalry between the teams. It's a scissor move that left everyone wondering if we had suddenly entered a martial arts tournament rather than a football match. Taking the seventh position on our list is a foul that defies the laws of gravity, the sudden flight. It's a moment when a player, perhaps propelled by frustration or a momentary lapse in judgment, decides to take off and launch themselves at an opponent in a way that's more airborne than ground-based. Our case in point is Ben Thatcher's infamous elbow on Pedro Mendes during a Premier League match. Thatcher's challenge was so severe that Mendes was left unconscious for several minutes, a moment that reminded us of the fine line between aggression and recklessness on the pitch. At number 6 we have a foul that features a high-stakes showdown between a player's boot and an opponent's face, the high boot showdown. It's a moment when a mistimed challenge elevates the intensity of the game to dangerous heights. Our example for this entry is Roy Keane's high boot on Alf Inga Haaland during a Manchester derby. The severity of the challenge resulted in a red card and suspension, but also added a layer of personal rivalry to the fixture. It's a high boot that left a lasting imprint on the Manchester footballing landscape. Claiming the fourth spot is a foul that turns the pitch into a dance floor for a two-footed tango. It's a moment when a player, unable to decide which foot to lead with, opts for both in a challenge that's as clumsy as it is dangerous. Our example for this entry is Martin Taylor's infamous two-footed tackle on Eduardo de Silva during a Premier League match. The severity of the challenge resulted in a broken leg for Eduardo, sparking debates about the responsibility of players to protect each other on the pitch. Taking the bronze position on our list is a foul that resonated far beyond the football pitch, the headbutt heard round the world. It's a moment when a player decides that a headbutt is the most effective way to express frustration or settle a dispute. Our case in point is Zinedine Zidane's infamous headbutt on Marco Matarazzi during the 2006 World Cup final. Zidane's moment of madness not only shocked the footballing world, but also became one of the most iconic images in the history of the sport, a headbutt that transcended the boundaries of the beautiful game. At the runner-up spot we have a foul that leaves us wincing, the leg breaker challenge. It's a tackle so severe that it sends shivers down the spines of players, fans and even neutrals watching from the safety of their living rooms. Our example for this entry is Ryan Shawcross's challenge on Aaron Ramsey during a Premier League match. The force of the tackle resulted in a double fracture on Ramsey's leg, sparking discussions about the need for stricter punishments for such challenges, a tackle that goes beyond the norms of physical play. 
Ladies and gentlemen, claiming the top spot on our list of brutal fouls is a moment that transforms the pitch into a red card symphony. It's a foul that combines aggression, recklessness and a touch of madness, leaving referees with no choice but to brandish their ultimate punishment, the red card. Our pinnacle example is Vinnie Jones's infamous tackle on Steve McMahon during a Premier League match. Jones's challenge was not just a foul, it was a symphony of chaos that echoed through the annals of football history, a red card that remains etched in the memories of fans and players alike. And there you have it, the top 10 brutal fouls in football. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content and ring the bell to stay updated. This is Onside Football signing off, urging players to keep it clean, fans to keep it fair and everyone to remember that even in the midst of the most brutal fouls, the beautiful game remains a spectacle that unites us all. Until next time, stay passionate, stay entertained and keep the love for football alive.